Well, Alan, you look remarkably calm. Um, <laughs> from from our point of view, you know, it was a it was a pretty frenetic end to the game. But rewind it back, the start of the game, I thought, you know, we started really well. Yeah, we we spoke about starting on the front foot, about not relying on anyone else. Can we go and win tonight and do our bit? Um, and I think. We always ask for energy and enthusiasm, but they need to bring it, the players, and I thought they did that and we started really well. Uh, we scored two good goals and we could have scored a couple more. Um, I thought we were really good in that first half. The only blip being um, just a goal coming just before half-time, which is just going to give them hope. But we spoke at half-time about um, just that little bit, not taking away from the good work we've done. Um, I think on 15 minutes you must have been really pleased with the way that the, uh, the goal came. I mean, it was um, Uzi C had controlled it, had a vision, seen the pass to, to Shanley. And to be fair, Shanley, maybe you know, people would have criticised him for no hitting it first time, but he kind of taken his touch. He went inside and then finished it off. Yeah, I think there was good play a little bit before that. I think we cleared the ball, and Shanley probably makes uh, not a great ball into a good ball, but winning a flick on it comes back to Uzi, and then uh, Shanley continues his run. And uh, once he gets him wide in the 1v1 area, we're talking about being positive, go and make things happen, he did that. But even the last couple of weeks, uh, Shanley's been really good. Uh, his work rate's improved, his understanding's improved. Um, he's got rewards with a couple of penalties. But tonight, I thought right from the start, he was on the front foot, he was chasing things down and he led the team well up at the top of the pitch. When you see his understanding's better, I mean, you know, what, what have you found or what has he had to change? in order to, for that understanding maybe to be transferred on the um, pitch? Just little things, it's like, uh, like even tonight, we don't really want Dan starting the play from the back, we know they like to play, they know they like to rotate, so how can we set up so they don't do that, and the positions they need to take up, remembering to do it all the time, uh, if you're not in position, what position you're dropping back into, so um, for the most part I think him and Uzi did that really well, um, with Danny helping out, so it's, it's just those little tactical um, uh, little bits of information that can really help the team and I think for the most part we got that right tonight. Yeah, and eight minutes later, um, again, you know, it was, it was the Hamlin corner, the Travis header and was it Uzi C? Did yeah, I think, I think it hit his knee, I don't know, he's claiming <laughs> anyway, but it's, uh, yeah, again, we've done our homework, we knew where we could get a bit, a bit of joy, uh, Trav gets on the end of it, puts it back into a good area, I think we had one before that where um, we got the first header again, so um, we'd had opportunities and then you just need a little bit of luck that it, it falls to the right person in there and Uzi was the right person tonight and managed to get himself a goal. So f for the front two to score tonight uh, is a big thing for, for us, for the team, for them, it's excellent. So um, they're getting the rewards for the work they're doing for the team. And maybe a bit of frustration just towards the end, you know, you, you, kinda, you, know, you, you give it on and maybe just a wee bit of foothold in the game just as the first half is about to finish. Yeah, there's a spell maybe just maybe 10 minutes leading up to that where uh, the rotations were a little bit better, where they picking up the ball was hurting us a little bit more, uh, where we didn't quite get those tactical details quite right, where the distances were too much, so um, they, they created a little bit of space and uh, were able to move the ball through us in, in midfield, which uh, probably wasn't to my liking, um, but the goal kind of comes out of nothing, we probably should clear it and do better, and they pick it up and they switch it, and then we're kind of overly worried about uh, Goss and we just empty that middle bit and they get a runner through it and even then it takes a deflection so uh, but it does just give them a little bit of little, little bit of hope coming into the half that if they know if they can get the next goal then it's game on but we spoke at half time about not letting that little not that incident yeah okay it's a big it's a goal but that incident taken away from all the good work we've done in the first half mm -hmm. um, and about kind of regrouping and trying to do the same again in the second half. I mean you conscious that Annan was was Gaining more possession in the second half. Um, I'll, 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 yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm really overly worried when someone has possession. It's what they do with it. Yeah. Uh, even if they pos have possession, can we control it? Where they play and where they don't play. Yeah. Um, we probably were a little bit too deep. They were playing more direct. They were getting numbers up on it, and we didn't quite get our distances in midfield quite right. Um, so they were picking up balls in, in dangerous areas. But again, we defended well the ball in the box because. I don't think Brian's had much to do. Mm -hmm. um, we have a couple of good headers, um, defensive headers. We have good body position where we see the ball through. Uh, there's one at the end that flies right across, which is a really, really great ball in by them. It's tricky to defend with, and they yeah. nearly get in the back post. But I don't remember Brian have to throw himself around the goal. Um, and I think on the break, we looked at threat. We worked their keeper. Uh, he's had to touch them away. He's made a good save first half, good save second half. 
there's one or two down his throat as well. Um, and good opportunities where Innes hits one from the edge of the box, you just want him to work the keeper. Mm -hmm. Or even ones again where we get headers in, from set pieces and, and they're dangerous. Um, so not overly worried about their possession, where they had it, some of the gaps weren't quite right, but I think we defended it quite well and as the game go, grew on, it, we counter-attacked really well and were able to manage it and we spoke in previous weeks about not just clearing it when we feel under pressure and putting another pass in and maybe trying to work it up the pitch. I thought we did that really well tonight. And such a brave block by Hamilton as well, because that, that shot was yeah, to it's, Yeah, it's a good ball into the, into the box and we do well to kind of get a header on it and we can't get much on it and it falls to them coming up and he hits it really well yeah. and it, it's, it's, uh, it's about attitude and about uh, mentality then, about do you want to block it, you're on the ground and yeah. he, he makes the effort to get something in it um, and it's a terrific block. Um, and it, as I say, was far, far flying and Brian would have, would have been forced into a save or even worse so. Um, but those sorts of incidents and it just shows the mentality and what the boys want to do so um, we just try and help them along. And you know, we talk about the psychology of winning and playing the game tonight, Friday night, you've extended it to four points and I know there's still another game in the, in the season left but there's, there's more pressure now in Stenhouse Muir to win tomorrow. Yeah, we, we spoke before the game about not relying on other people. Um, can we do our job? Can we win tonight? Can, can we uh, uh, get the points and then results from other people will be the results? We can't do anything about that. So yeah. we don't want to be not doing our bit and then relying on someone else. So yeah. that's what we spoke about. We asked them to bring energy and enthusiasm. The players bring it. They start it on the front foot. They get the goals up. Um, and all we can do is this. And then if Steny win tomorrow and we have to go next week, we'll do our homework, we'll be prepared. And we'll go to Sterling and we'll try and win the game. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, Alan. Cheers, thank nice. you.